What's going on guys? This is Magic Pyro here bringing you a Pokemon X and Wi-Fi battle. As you can see here, my old team. I actually had Talonflame instead of Superior, but um the Talonflame was level 100 and I was doing a trade and the guy who was trading with me wanted gave a shiny this shiny Superior which obviously you guys see a lot in my battles. And uh, so I just thought, you know what? I don't really have the Talonflame anymore. So let's let's put Superior there because uh, because he's the guy that I got the trade. So I guess he's a little remembrance of that town flame. It was my town flame was pretty cool. It was um it was um wait let me think it was Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Fly for the in-game stuff and stealing to to take care of Rock types and Fairy types if you need that coverage. So. It was, it was really helpful. Um, if you needed to pack a punch, you got you got him there. But so can Superior. So yeah. Anyway, my opponent Mega Evolves into Mega Lucario. Goes for the Aura Sphere. It is over half, and this Hydro Pump misses. So Blastoise, you're just you're just not the guy. Yeah, he, he Blastoise was the one. Or I I picked Squirtle in game because I wanted I wanted some coverage. And at the time I had Blaziken, but I actually switched him out for Sylveon. So, I mean, I still have that Blaziken, so I could have popped him on there, on this team, but I, I didn't really, I only had him to, like, level 40, and then I just stopped using him, because I thought he's, he's just way too good. I'm just going to blow by the whole game if I keep using him, so I tried to go outside the box and use Sylveon, so that's what I did. And here's, Sylveon's just, just eating up those power punches. They're, 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 they're scrumptious. She, she's eating it like like her like her dinner, and then and then he goes for the toxic, and I was like, okay, that makes sense. Just kidding. So um, in comes Mooblast, and that is going to take out the Lucario. So the toxic does actually end up mattering, I believe. It might not, but who really knows? Because so, yeah. I I did I had this battle last night, so um yeah. And in comes Eoveltal, which is really interesting, because I, I don't know why you would bring a Dark type in. And then he goes for the Focus Blast. So, I mean, okay. He gets a crit on that, too, and you see how little that did. So, I mean, Sylveon, I got, I, I wanted to, I caught a Eevee in game. I'm just trying to talk, talk to you guys a little about. My, my team members here. I got an Eevee in game. I think it was like right before Geosenge Town, and I really wanted to have a Sylveon, so I evolved into Sylveon, and then it was like level. It was like ten levels behind everyone else, so I just wanted to. I just wanted to use it. Like I, I, I became really like attached to it, even though it is a guy. I don't know. I don't know how this little thing can. I don't know how Sylveon can be a guy, but somehow it is. Um, which is a little weird, but anyway, I just got attached to it, and I was like, "What the heck? Let's send out, let's get Bleedskin out of there," because I really don't feel like I need to use him. In comes um, Mewtwo, which is gonna take me out with Sasha. I was gonna, pre I was about to predict that and go to Greninja, but I'm completely fine with just sacking off my. So I didn't want to risk my opponent predicting that and go for the going for the Aura Sphere. I just switched down to Greninja, so I go for the nice slash here, which is nice. And he goes for the side shock here, predicting a switch, I guess. Maybe he, maybe he thought I was gonna predict an Aura Sphere, and he went for the side strike, trying to hit like someone else that came in, like maybe the Blastoise. But nope, Squirrel. Nice slash takes him out, and uh, in comes the other Greninja, which I'm gonna go for the strength, cause that's my final move. I have Night Slash, Surf, Hydro Pump, and Strength. Again, like, not the most competitive team ever, but, I mean, it's my team, and I didn't really want to change it. I was going to change it, but I just got battle requests all over the place, so I just found one that I could take advantage of, and uh, I got this. So, yeah. So, these are, like, their standard sets, like, what they had when I was using them in-game. I don't know. It, I just have a little more attachment to, to these guys than to the ones I always use, like the guys I just found in the wild after the game. I mean, I don't know, it may sound really weird, 
and it probably is, but <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with it. Electro Ball, um, in case you guys did not know, um, Electro Ball does it, it does more damage for if you're like if if you outspeed. I don't know how to, I don't know how to put this, but basically it. You guys probably know, but <laughs> but ice no not ice fang. Um, I'm gonna static him, which is a problem because I go for the nuzzle. Oh, and I flinched. Never mind. I was going for the nuzzle to paralyze this this Gyarados, but it turns out I get he gets a static. So in the end, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, I lost my train of thought there. Electro Ball, basically, it just th the faster you are compared to your opponent the more damage it does just like gyro ball but the opposite and it's an electro type move so if you can get a nuzzle off and paralyze your opponent that quarters their speed or half set i don't know which one but i mean it, that's that's really that's a good thing because next turn you're going to outspeed go for the electro ball and i i don't know it, it this probably isn't true but if you can get like the electro ball off when your opponent is paralyzed then it should do like two times as much than it would regularly do, but I don't think that's what it does. I I would like it to because that's a really good strategy, but I don't know. So anyway, um, dra e Dragon Tails after it going to charge me, which is a little odd, but I actually don't take out this Dragon with the Hydro Pump because it's resisted. But he's gonna go for the Rock Smash, and that's not gonna do anything. And I'm gonna finish up this battle with my Mega Blastoise, which is really nice to know. Um, See, so yeah, that's gonna be the game. I, I did get the rough skin, but uh, yeah, that was that was really that was really fun to do, and I wanted to use this team one more time, and uh, so yeah, thank you guys for supporting me all along here. Um, I did I don't have the showdown bat the showdown battles up as regularly because showdown's down for the time being. Um, I don't know if it's down for you guys, but anyway, this is the last battle we will have in Pokemon X and Y. Um, unless I get this crazy amount of people who who just want to me to keep doing X and Y, but I doubt that because Auras Omega Ruby Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is coming out out tomorrow. I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna do a let's play, but I'm gonna do like every gym battle so that you guys can sort of see what kind of Pokemon I'm, I'm bringing. And uh, so yeah, this is my team, and this is how we're gonna go out with Pokemon X and Y. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.